Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do 100 days CSS challenge. Let me start with the HTML first. Let me create a frame, deep class frame, and let me create a class center. Center. Here we go. This is the page. Let me do this one by this margin zero box sizing zero box right now we can do the body maybe we can go and make the flex justify content justify content with if I put the center it will centralize let me be showing something first let me give a size for the frame width 400 pixel height 400 pixel and let me give you the color back on back on front of this one you can see over here if i don't put this elastic content center it come on the left side and if i put the justify content center it will go to the on the center if you want this item on the center of this this whole display then we can put a line item center so, you know, we can put the height height a little bit height so we need the one center here we go like we can go with like we can put like position absolute right let me give some width and the height of the first Width and the height. Width and the height. Background, maybe let me give the red one. You can see over here this one. If you want to centralize this item, we have another another idea for this one. You can put the top 50%, left 50%, and you can even transform translate minus 50% comma minus 50% you can do by any way like you can use the display flex display flex justify content center or line item center or you can even use the top 50% left 50% and transform so you can see over here right now now we need to make CSS like this let me start making a circle first. Let me make a circle. Deep class circle. Circle. Let me do the width 300 pixels. Height 300 pixels. We need to give border radius border radius 50 percent oh. border we can put the border border 5 pixel solid which color you want maybe green okay here you go see you can see over here get rid of this one first let me get rid of this one too see? Let me make a dotted line, the border. There you go. Now to make the animation of the circle, let me give the another class circle one. Circle one for this one. And let me use the animation on this class, circle one. Animation. Let me name the animation. Anything you want you you can name anything of your animation it's the closer i use the closer name i can use the 10 seconds is the duration of the animation and one second is a delay after one second the animation start and is out i want animation to come out here we go how to use this animation you will use keyframes and name of our animation here we go zero portion is the in initial point where and there's the final point 100 percent 
sorry. Zero percent, hundred percent. Now using the transform, we will scale, scale zero. A zero refers to there is no an increment or decrement in the horizontal part or the vertical part. Let me go like this. One hundred percent. Let me on scale. I want it to be increased by two. Scale two, right? Let me see how it goes. See, you can see the animation here. I'll add the transform origin center over here, so the animation starts from the center. Let me refresh one more time. You can see the circle going outside outside of our box. So you can keep the frame, the position absolute first, absolute, and you can use the overflow, overflow, freedom, freedom. So that the circle doesn't go outside of the box. You can see over here like this, right? Even we can make this one minus zero point. Five second. So there is no solver, right? Even you can make this one infinite. So it's keep on doing the animation. See? Now I want to add more of the solver. Like this, let me add over here. Like let me add three or four. Two, three, four. Right? Let me go over here and copy this one. Circle two, circle three, circle four. Right? Okay. Here we go. Circle two, circle three, and circle four. Let me change the change this one. Let me go like zero point two second delay, zero point four second, zero point six second. 0.8 seconds. You can see the circle are coming from the different directions. They are not aligned in the same position. So let me align them in the same position. First, keep giving the position absolute, absolute for the circle. So they are coming from the same position, but they are on the edge of our this square. So let me make this margin top maybe minus 150px. It will pop over here. Margin left. Minus 150px. Okay, they are coming from the center now. We can make the color of this one green, and uh, we can make the background color green, and this border color white. Let me insert position translate. You can transfer x and y position. Let me click like minus 50 percent from a minus 50 percent. But it does see it's come a little bit over here. Now I can use that 100 percent so that it's looking nice now, right? Now I can translate in. In our hundred percent by zero by zero, it comes in the origin position. Let me see. Okay, I've added twenty circles in HTML and with uh, class names circle one, two, three, four up to twenty, and I have copied the uh, CSS circle two, circle three with different uh, delay duration like and i have changed the data duration from 0 0.2 to 0 0.5 there's a difference of 0 0.5 use the negative signs because when we go to this page i want it to appear the animation at first i don't want the still circle circle over here and in finite it keeps on going is out the circle is coming out 10 seconds the each circle uh, has the animation duration 10 seconds and this is just the name of the animation and we have changed this animation with scale 0 
the circle size remains same at first and it increases by 2 uh, in the x axis and y axis you can see there is a small circle and the circle world, the circle has been increased and translate it it repositions the size of the circle from 0% to here it goes from here here and it comes from over here right in this way we can make this this type of animation using only the html and css if you can use the javascript you should not have to repeat all the circle you can use the loop of the javascript so that uh, you can uh, show in one line for all the 20 circle or more than that circle in the html and even in, C in for the css you can even use scss so in one in one or two line you can show all this all this css styling uh, I think that's all for today and thank you for watching and for your precious time and don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.